All right, so that last recording cut off a little bit, so I'll just uh, do one more so that we can get through these last couple slides. So we were on microorganisms. So, um, you know, this is kind of just a little microscope of them working in the soil. Uh, they call them microorganisms because you can't really see them with the naked eye. So what they do is they decompose organic material. So that's just really any plant or animal matter that falls down and gets to where they are, permeates through that soil. If you remember, permeates kind of like going through um, spaces in something. So this is just a picture of microbes doing their thing. And um, what's cool about them is microorganisms, um, as we talked about before, they release carbon dioxide when they break organic products down, like plants and animal matter. And then when they release that carbon dioxide, I talked about this before, it interacts with water, and then it creates that carbonic acid solution, which will break down all of these guys right here, breaks down all of these um, minerals and metals. So sodium, magnesium, all this stuff cannot be used by the plants in rock form. And it's the same with humans. Like you can't eat iron and get iron. You have to eat like something's blood to get iron or take a pill for iron. Um, it has to be in like liquid form, soluble form. So when people um, say like, oh, look, I, I took a magnet to your, your blood and I got all this iron up, like that's not true. Um, there are some sort of healers that do that. And um, it's, it's not ferric iron, which means ferric iron is ferrous, which is iron. And it's just like rock form. Um, we do not have ferric iron in our blood. We have soluble liquid iron in our blood. It's very, very small particles uh, mixed in with our blood. So that's exactly what's happening with plants. Um, you can just see it better with plants because you see these things breaking down and uh, creating that carbonic acid. And then that carbonic acid, we can see breaking down the nutrients in the soil and we can see those nutrients going up through the leaves or through the roots. Um, into the stem and creating bigger, taller plants. So that was probably too much about microorganisms, but that's okay. Um, here's just classic soil right here. This is good soil. There's, there's life in it. If you don't have life in your soil, then it's probably not good soil. If something can't live there, then there's something wrong with it. Um, and we talked about peat and how it's very acidic and a lot of wetlands are acidic. There are special things that live in the soil of that acidic environment. That's not something that like gets rid of all of the microorganisms. It just gets rid of enough so that that peat can um, continue to turn into an organic fuel source. So, you know, we've got microfungi, that's just fungus that are really, really small. We've got fungal hyphae in the soil, so that's just stuff that's going down from um, um, mushrooms. It's kind of like their roots, basically. We've got beetles, we've got microbes on the top, we've got microbes in the inside of the soil. There's all sorts of stuff going on, and it's really beautiful and amazing to think about because there's there are literally so many different species of organisms just in this little teeny brick of soil that we're looking at here that we, we can hardly even count the amount of species that are in there. So um, it's, it's kind of mind-blowing to think about. Um, so humus, humic layer, that's pretty much what this stuff is right here. It's that organic layer of soil. So humus is decayed matter in soil, but it's decayed organic matter. So it's the result of decomposition of microorganisms. That's, that's what exactly what we were talking about with that carbonic acid. They decompose organic matter. Um, and humus is just, you know, that decomposition in humus is the basis for soil life. Um, you need that decomposition going on so that those nutrients can turn into soluble nutrients and they can be sucked up by the plants and so that things are moving constantly in the soil. Um, things are dying, things are, those dead things are being turned into nutrients and then those nutrients are being turned into other nutrients. So there's all sorts of really great stuff going on in that humic layer. So humus acts as a soil sponge. It expands and contracts with moisture levels. And that's just right here. You can see that's got like really good consistency, texture, and um, really good porosity. So um, humus increases soil porosity when it expands and contracts. So when it expands, you get more pores. When it contracts, you get less pores. But it's pretty much reacting to moisture levels. So um, we, when we talked about good soil, how it needs to have good composition, it needs to have good texture, um, it's got to have good pore space or those peds. 
Um, that's what we're talking about here. We're basically using humus as our baseline for good soil. Um, and it's going to improve the movement of water and air with those pores. So water can go down, air can come up, um, water can also come up into the roots, and then it can evaporate or transpirate. Um, transpiring is when water leaves plants. So it's basically evaporation, but on plants. Um, it's, it, humus is essential for all that stuff going on. And so then we talk about soil tilth. And what is soil tilth? Well, good soil tilth is a texture created by humus. It's soft, it's porous, it holds water. It prevents the formation of a hard crust. Anytime you get a hard crust, you're going to lose porosity. You're going to lose water. You're going to lose life forms inside of there. So all those things that are going on in the soil are going to kind of slow down, and it's not going to be as healthy. Um, good soil tilth allows for a larger root system for plants, and microorganisms thrive. So you know, if, if you learned anything about soil, microorganisms are basically what make, um, make soil good, um, makes it healthy. Um, those are the things that are continuously degrading, um, de uh, excuse me, organic matter. They're decomposing it. They're turning that um, into carbonic acid, essentially. That's going to break down nutrients in the soil, and then it's going to go back up into the plants. The plants are going to die. They're going to do that same process over and over and over again. So um, in summation, Soil is very important. It's very important to think about good soil versus bad soil and what we need for good soil because a lot of farming practices nowadays, um, are, we're, we're going towards more good farming practices for soil, but in the past, we have not been known for having too many great um, farming practices to keep soil health. So that ends up degrading a lot of other systems. So that's just something to think about. You know, it all comes together. The stuff you stand on definitely is very important. So that should be all you need to know. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, feel free to contact me via email, Skype, uh, phone, text, whatever. Have a wonderful week.